up guys today is Monday and I'm off for work got the diffs right here cleaned up a little bit and I'm gonna load them in the 240 so I could go and drop them off to get it regeared but first I need to take out some of my tools so I could fit the gears inside the car I've been using this car for like a week already for work and it hasn't failed me yet <laughs> yet well I just hope it doesn't fail me at all hopefully until the truck is back in commission so I took out some of my tools laid down some cardboard oh, there's a box look familiar to you guys and now I'm gonna try fit the diff inside so here it is guys surprisingly it did fit I thought it wasn't going to but we got it to work and for the third member the rear diff I'm going to try and fit it inside here since since it's like smaller and probably can just throw it inside there so we just throw some cardboard in there Ooh. So I'm gonna go ahead and put away my tools and whatever I don't need and then I'm gonna head out soon and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. What's up guys? It's a new day today. <laughs> Not just kidding. It's not the same day but I'm gonna go and drop off the dips now. It was raining earlier, but hopefully it doesn't rain anymore because I don't like driving this in the rain. Unless, you know, unless we're playing today, but we're not playing today. We're on a mission to drop off my dips. Alright guys, so we're gonna head out right now. What's up guys? So I dropped off my diff and I stopped by AutoZone to get some paint because you guys are gonna see what I'm gonna do with the paint pretty soon and some more polish so we can polish up the forces while it's off the truck right now and yeah but I don't think I'm gonna get to that today it's kind of running, it's kind of getting late and as you can see it's kind of raining or drizzling What's up guys? So today's a new day and I ain't joking this time <laughs> So I am going to clean like my frame, my springs all the way through the front and then respray it as well as like my lower control arms because you can kind of see there's parts where it's kind of rusty and inside the wheel well as well when your truck is kind of old and you try to keep the frame clean it just doesn't want to stay clean anymore and it's easy for it to get stained so I'm gonna be spraying it with the gloss black paint that we bought yesterday and this is inspired by one of my friends his Instagram name is wehim dehim I'll put it down in the description below in case you guys wanna follow him and check out his truck but his truck's frame is like super clean and shiny and when I seen it I thought it looked nice the only difference is that he's poor 15 though Port 15 is like a 
paint for rust or like so it, it won't get rusted you guys can search up about that but it's like some real good stuff expensive paint but I'm just gonna use gloss black rust-oleum spray paint well anything is better than this right now So I got my degreaser and my brush and the power washer ready and we're gonna get to cleaning. Then, when you're done power washing, grab a blower and blow it. <laughs> This is how it looks like dry and you guys can kind of see where I painted it before but the old paint was like um, flat black and from my experience with like flat black paint it's still easy to stain but like with gloss it's easy to wipe it off it's like since the control arm is shiny like you see all of this right here 
can wipe it off. I don't know if you guys can see it, but. But yeah, it would be more ideal to take like all of this off and spray it, but I'm kinda lazy right now. But I'm just gonna spray around it. And you can see parts of the control arm where like there's no paint and like rust is starting to form. So we'll be sure to cover areas like that. I'm gonna paint the leaf springs and the axle too, but I'm gonna probably do the back part of the truck um, probably after I get the third member back in because I don't want like any paint or water going inside. And this part too, the hubs, the axle shafts. So the back is gonna probably wait for a bit, but we can work on the front and the frame in the middle. Shaky can. And spray. We're gonna use this plastic. Just so the mist won't go on, on the control arms. So here's how it looks. Nice and clean. It looks like the paint is kind of wrinkly in these areas. And even over here. Because I think there's like still some residue of like tire shine. Like every time I put tire shine on my tires. But it looks good and looks better than faded and dirty so as you guys can see it's like much cleaner now and now we're gonna work on the spring 
This isn't the most proper way to do it, but this is how I'm gonna do it because I really don't feel like taking out the shock and compressing the spring to pull it off. You already know what I'm gonna do. So, spray some in here. And then, dip our brush into it and get to painting. So, I guess since this paint is thin, since it's spray paint, you can start off with like light coats. And just do that for like the rest of the spring. So just keep doing that until you're pretty satisfied with the coverage. So I'm probably going to do maybe like several more coats and check back with you guys after. So this is the outcome. It's more shiny now compared to the passenger side. <laughs> You guys can see the difference so yeah I am gonna do the same thing I did to this side to the other side and I'll check in with you guys after that sorry guys I totally lost track of time my cousin came over and I was just getting in the zone and this is what I got done so far but yeah the front is pretty much sprayed as well as the frame my leaves the back part and small parts of the axle but I'm gonna finish up like the middle part later when I get my dip back and yeah so hopefully it'll be easier to clean next time it gets dirty. The other side. Spring's looking good. Compared to what it was. Here's the other side. My leaf springs look legit. But yeah guys, so I guess that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, comment, and subscribe.